Comet is a Palestinian-Israeli organization. We're nine people, five Israelis and four Palestinians. Our idea is to contribute constructively to improve the lives of Palestinians living in Area C under Israeli occupation. Who get no services from Israeli authorities as a way of pressuring them to leave their land. Avigail, Chavat Maon, all of them are illegal Israeli outposts. No problem there. Access roads, electricity, water. Our main motivation is to support them to stay on their land. The basic idea of, of Comet is that of appropriate technology. Since 2009, Comet has provided wind and solar energy to about 2,000 Palestinians in 20 different villages in the south of the West Bank. We just launched a new water program uh, with the objective of providing sustainable water services to off-grid Palestinian communities that are not connected to the water network. The first problem we deal with is the hard labor, done mostly by women, carrying many buckets of water from the cistern to the household every day. The second problem is water contamination leading to health issues. UV filtration, we looked into chlorination and dechlorination, and finally we realized that the best option is probably the most basic technology which is called slow sand filtration as the water seeps through it gets filtered and on the sand there's a very thin layer of microbiology that grows and that basically eats up the microbiology that is in the water so you're left with clean water that takes water out of the cistern and pumps it up to the, to the tank over there. And the tank is kind of a storage component for the water, where the water sits in the tank, which is kind of a process of cleaning the water a little bit because some sediments and residual will settle down. We are using the fact that we already have renewable energy systems installed in order to power the pumping. So all of the pumps are going to be using renewable clean energy from the sun and the wind. After that, the water is distributed to mainly like the kitchen and the herd uh, taps. <laughs> So the pilot project would provide about 30, 40 people with these services. The idea then is to expand to work with all the families that we've worked with in, in South Mount Hebron. Just like anyone else in the 21st century, they'll be able to turn on the tap in their kitchen and have clean running water that they can drink and use for whatever they need. We're going to go to the house, we're going to go to the house, we're going to go to the house, we're going to go to the house.